Oh, hello. Welcome back to Diamond with Mr. Darcy. I'm your host, Mr. Darcy. Wojow Darcy. Uh, I have with me products from Taiwan with me today, um, from Koa. Uh, these are their, uh, these coffee brands come straight from Taiwan. Uh, Ni Ai Taiwan Cafe Ma. So I have around with me six, uh, six types of coffees to try out. So I'm looking forward to, um, Give them a shot. So we have, let's see here, we have Flora's Black Premium Coffee by Mr. Brown Cafe. And then we have Wind Cafe Latte. And then we have Wind Cafe Black, another Wind Cafe Black. Uh, we have another Wind Cafe Latte. And then we have, let's see here, we have the Four Seas Milk coffee brand. So, they all look cool and interesting to try out. So first, I will try the premium, the, the uh, Mr. Brown Cafe, Flores Black. And let's see how it tastes. It smells very strong. You know, that needs cream and sugar, but it's very, um, strong in terms of overall coffee. Um, like if I was in a rush to go to work, I'd probably grab this and just add, grab a coffee cup and add some cream and sugar to it. It's a, it's a quite a nice plain coffee. Um, yeah, I, there's nothing really bad I can say about it because um, it's just straightforward. It's just coffee, right? <laughs> so, so let's move on to the latte now and let's give that a try. This is the Wing Cafe Latte. You can take a look here at the can. It's quite nice. It smells uh, quite milky and creamy, so let's give it a taste. Yeah, that's quite a nice latte. Um, tastes like your standard latte with uh, milk, sugar, a little bit of flavoring, let's see here. So yeah, it has uh, water, sugar, milk powder, cream, uh, coffee creamer, sodium. So yeah, it's, uh, oh, actually this is quite interesting. It has green tea extract. Um, so far, this is pretty solid. Now let's try the Wing Cafe Black and see how it compares to the Mr. Brown Black. So I'll let you take a look at that. Nice can, very small. It's quite, uh, it's quite small and convenient, so let's give it a go. This one most definitely tastes way more different than the Mr. Brown coffee uh, cafe. Um, it has a little bit more of a interesting well, how do I put it here? It has more of a, a nutty taste to it, essentially, as opposed to the uh, Flores Black. But still pretty good coffee, nonetheless. <laughs> Let's try the other brand of Wink Cafe. Let's crack this guy open here. I'll show you the bottle. It's quite, it's actually quite nice. Uh, so how are you guys doing? Pretty good. Hmm. I like this one. It has way more different coffee. Well, the thing is they each use a different type of bean for the coffee. Um, is it my favorite? I'd say so far the this brand of Wing Cafe is a little bit more of my favorite. So, like these two, like these two straight black coffees, taste way more different than this one. So um, the overall taste, I'd say, is pretty good. Like for the plain coffees, I would probably make a tiramisu with. Um, are they uh, Hao Ha? I'd say most definitely they're Hao Ha so far. So now we go on to Wing Cafe's latte and it's flash brew. 
So I'll show you the bottle here. It's quite nice. Just crack it open. That will smell. So interesting. So these both these actually use the same bean. So basically this is gonna be the milking sugar, well, more than likely be the milking sugar equivalent of the black coffee. So, so that's actually the case how it would taste with, with uh, cream of sugar, so. I like that. It's um rather, it, it's simple. It, it's simple. It tastes, it tastes like this one, but just different beans, essentially. Um, would I recommend it? Of course I would. Um, but the thing is, we still got other, we got one last coffee to taste, and it's the Four C's milk coffee. So I'll show you it here. If you check out here, it, they use the old school um, 1930s, um, way of canning, so let's give this a try. You gotta shake that. <sighs> ah, that's pretty cool. So, have a little sniff. I say it tastes quite good. It reminds me of um, having a double double from Tim Hortons. It's very sweet. It's not overpowering in terms of sweetness. Um, it does taste very ha ha. It's um, out of all these coffees so far, I'd say this one here, and this one here, and this one here are my favorites. Like these are the type of coffees that I would most definitely. Um, have for bringing to work with me if I was in a rush, you know, didn't have time to go to uh, stop by Tim Hortons or, or where, or wherever. <laughs> but then if I was to go with these black coffees, I would most definitely make desserts with them. Essentially, tiramisu would be the best. Especially if you don't have time for brewing coffee to dip the lady fingers in or add um, or add coffee liqueur to, these would be great backups for it. So um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching today. Shishini. Uh, I'll be covering more products from Koa soon. So um, if you're wondering where where you can actually get this um, get this coffee from, you can get it from Koa. I'll show you the bag. So yes, most definitely stop by, and thank you again for watching, uh, th thank you for watching, and make sure to enter our Patreon contest where you can win a Tempo Yaffe Maker, and thank you again for watching, and have a great day. Sajen, goodbye.